A non-traditional export. Mm -hmm. What has been the real challenge now? What is the state of the non-traditional export at See, the moment? The key challenge, the number one challenge that if you talk to anybody is supply side constraint. We go out there, people see our products, they are interested, but we are not able to deliver the volumes that they, are, they require. Non-traditional export grew steadily at an annual average rate of 16.4% from 2001 to 2008. The highest rate was 30.4% recorded in 2007 between the same periods. The global economic crisis in 2009, however, resulted in a fall in earnings by 9.3%. In 2010 and 2011, Export revenues from the sector went up by 34.1% and 48.7% respectively against the backdrop of the recessionary period. The Federation of Association of Ghanaian Exporters 5-year strategic plan with an average cost of 3 million Ghana cities is expected to gear up government's target to enhance its export global competitiveness. So within the 5 years, how, how much are we looking at on average? Within the 5 years, 5 years, when we do this, we expect to go beyond that five billion dollars that have been set for us as a, as a sector. That means we will exceed our target. Absolutely, I have no doubt about that. Currently, over thirty-four percent of the country's non-traditional exports end up in the European market. Thirty-two percent within the ECOWAS this market, and ten percent in other developed countries. Looking at the non-traditional export products, yeah. what are some of the basic products that you think we should invest in magnificently? Yeah, would, that, would I have been thinking, I would say pineapple is number one. The reason why I'm saying pineapple is that we have gained certain comp skills, competencies in production of pineapple, even the MB2 variety. Two, a lot of processing facilities have been established here. So if we increase production, even if all does not, do not make it to the export market, we have uh, a facility to process them add value to them. Next, we're doing mangoes. Mangoes has attracted a lot of attention and our people have embraced it. But there's still a lot of work to be done on mango, especially how to package mangoes so that we can export mangoes by sea. A lot of work needs to be done there. Ghana's non-traditional export earnings in 2013 was 2.4 billion US dollars. It is an indication of an increment to the 2.3 billion US dollars in 2012, 2.4 billion dollars in 2011, and 1.6 billion US dollars in 2010. Government through the national export strategy is expecting to hit 5 billion annual earnings mark before 2017. This will enable the sector maximize its contribution to the gross domestic product's growth to consolidate and enhance the country's middle income status. Abu Abdul Karim, ETV News.